Hey, my name is Ethan Ostroff. I'm the CEO and founder of Turnkey Ops, a virtual assistant staffing company for law firms. I also own Ethan Ostroff Law, a nationwide personal injury firm helping victims who are hurt due to no fault of their own. Today, I'm going to get into where you should start. What are the most low-hanging fruit tasks that I use virtual assistants for when I started with virtual assistants and what I would recommend that you use for virtual assistants when you're ramping up your team. This is a conversation I just had earlier today with one of my potential clients who really just was a little overwhelmed by the process. They felt like there's obviously tons of areas of improvement, but you know, where do you start? What are the easiest tasks? But before I get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, follow along, where I'll make sure that you're ready to scale your firm with virtual assistants. So really the first two tasks that I typically pitch to clients are number one, medical record and bill retrieval. Why medical record and bill retrieval? It's because it is the lifeblood of your firm. If you are behind on medical record and bill retrieval, your demands suffer, your cases don't move, your settlements get held up, and there is a high likelihood that this is something that is a problem for your firm because it's a problem for several firms across the country. There is so many medical record retrieval companies most of them charge you by the task. While it's nice to get paid back on your expenses for a retrieval, if they aren't good at retrieving, you might as well just hire somebody in-house. But if you're gonna hire somebody in-house, stateside, you're gonna pay 40, 50, 60, 70 grand for somebody who is really good at getting medical records. So this is a really good task that I recommend to firms to start with. It's one that is routine, it's one that's consistently the same thing, and it's one that is a pain in the ass to stay on the phone with these providers that require follow-up five, six, seven, 10, 15 times for one set of medical records that you need to move your file. That's area number one, medical record and bill retrieval. Area number two, overnight intake slash reception. The reason why this is such a great task for virtual assistants, number one, there's a lower call volume coming in at 5.01 p.m. than at 4.59 p.m. Your call volume decreases and you're probably using a service like Legal Intake Professionals, Lex Reception, any of these other by the minute staffing companies that use the same kind of staff that I'm offering to you anyway. Why not hire somebody for under seven bucks an hour, if you want someone bilingual, 720 an hour, that can know your systems, know your scripts, put the case data into your system, whether you're on Litify, Filevine, CasePeer, whatever, they work right in your systems, in your phone system, they can warm transfer people to you. But then what's great is let's say at two to three a.m. in the morning, instead of a call going to voicemail, you have somebody who's there sitting by the phone, but if they're not so busy, they can do Data mining tasks, like for example, a great task that I have virtual assistants do is go data mine police reports, grab defendant addresses, grab defendant names, grab things off of deck pages like UIM limits, uh, total policy limits, and then they can put that data into your system in a place and in a way that you want. You know, all of us when we're running a firm, we want our systems to be perfect, but we typically don't incentivize our case managers or paralegals to do it the way that we probably want it. So what I strongly recommend is use a virtual assistant on that specific part of your workflow. If they're doing overnight reception, then what they can do is they can do these kinds of admin tasks like data mining, police reports, sorting medical records into certain orders. They can data mine your deck pages. They can go get child support liens. They can send letters of rep if you have some sort of outbound mailing solution. They can merge documents. They can mail sort. There are so many admin tasks that don't require working from nine to five that are really good candidates to delegate to virtual assistants. So just to kind of recap, the two best tasks to start virtual assistants on. Number one, medical record and bill retrieval. Pain in the ass task, requires a lot of time, is nitty gritty, but is typically the same every time. And number two is overnight and backup reception slash intake slash admin. All they should be doing is sitting by the phone, waiting for calls to come. If the call doesn't come, then they're doing something admin with their time. 
Thanks so much. Hope that I can hop on a call with you. I'd be happy to speak with you about your virtual assistant setup. Feel free to schedule a call below. Thanks so much. Thank you.